welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Sheikah, and I'm back with another one. With another eat and chat slash, we could do a little story time, y'all. Get some of this stuff out the way. You know, y'all, this is the only time I can really do some story times and talk to y'all when I'm at work and when I'm on lunch when these kids ain't around. So this is my only time. So I'll be doing these like I'm doing now when I'm at work. So today, guys, we got Panda Express. I need to start doing all the eating out though, for real. I really do. By the way, we got Panda Express. I got some teriyaki chicken with the rice. And I got some coconut shrimp. I believe it's coconut shrimp. So the teriyaki chicken, I'm going to get it close. Because I be seeing that I'm not even that close to the camera. But anyways, yeah. This is really our all this is god damn, what's going on? What I can't open the food? Yeah, so um this what most of that I eat when I come here. It's just they rice. I at first I didn't like they rice. Then it's it started getting on me. I started liking it now. That's all I get when I come here. I definitely don't like their noodles. But I probably need to try their noodles again. But I definitely don't like it. And it is fresh, y'all. They just opened probably like 30 minutes ago. Let's see. Get it close to y'all. Get it close. That's the chicken and the rice. Let me get me a bite. You know, at least the rice got a little vegetables in it. I eat it. Chicken be, that chicken be on point, y'all. See, it's fresh. It's fresh. I'll take a bite in my um shrimps. Let me show y'all these shrimps. What we call them. shrimps? Look at that. There. No, they walnut shrimp. They walnut shrimp. Mm -mm -mm. I love shrimps. I really do. I love me some shrimp, y'all. Oh, yeah. Give me a little bit of my drink. I got me a Coke. I barely drank soda, but I wanted me a Coke today. I'm like, what we could do? So, y'all, this story I'm about to tell y'all is very true. I'm not making it up. You know, it did happen almost 14 years ago. I was like 22 years old, and um, I was pregnant with my oldest daughter. By the title, I know y'all see. It's it's not cap. It's not fake. It's, it's real, and it happened. So, I'm going to tell y'all. I was 22, like I said. I was pregnant with my first child, my daughter. Um, Asia, she about to be 14 in about a couple more months. Um, it was around this time here, either July or August in 2007. I was going to go see my friend, you know what I'm saying? She stayed on the other side of town for me at that time. My friend at that time, she stayed on the other side of town, but we both was pregnant around the same time. But her son was born in July, but at this time, I believe the baby was like a month so i was going to see them to go see the baby and stuff this was our first our first kids so um it's a childhood friend too so i was riding through this neighborhood because she was in this section of orlando that called um uh, oh, what's my phone that called um pine hill she was in pine hill and i was going through this neighborhood called mercy drive now if you from I let know Florida, you know about Pine Hills and Mercer Drive. That's the hood. But it's it, it, it's a big neighborhood. Mercer Drive is this long behind road and it got projects on each side. But what now 
they trying to build it up more and put new apartments and stuff on it. But back then, it was nothing but the little projects on each side, different little projects, what I call them. You know, it was the hood or whatever. Um, pretty little rough hood. So I was riding down Mercy Drive. I got to Mercy Drive in Princeton. They is it, it, it's a red light. It's, it, it connect together. So I was in the turning lane. So it's what it's okay. This is Mercy Drive, and this is Princeton, right? Okay, so I was on the Mercy Drive, getting ready to turn, make a left on Princeton. And on Mercy Drive, it's two lanes to turn. One go straight, and another lane to turn to go to the right. So I was in the second turning lane, not the first. It's the first one, then it's the median, then it's the other side going opposite way. I was in the second, I was in the second um, lane. Oh, I was in the second lane, right? And then, um, but this time when I pulled up, everybody was pulled up. It seemed like all the cars was there. Did the first lane was full of cars? It was cars in front of me. It was cars behind me. It was cars on the other, excuse me, on the other side full. So I couldn't move or, or go nowhere. So while we at the light, just sitting at the light, right? And I looked up. Take another bite for my junk get cold. So good, y'all. So good. Let me move this out way. So I'm sitting at light. And that thing I noticed, I got like two cars in front of me. There's one on the other side. This thing I know I seen these guys in this car. They're coming off of, I'm, this Mercy. This is Princeton. They're coming down Princeton real fast like this. Next thing I know, they done stir, and then turn like this. This how the car turned. Mind you, I'm in the second lane. They skirt and they all, like three of them jumped out the car. So I seen one that jumped out the car. He had a gun in his hand. Once he jumped out the car, he ran like round like this. And the car that was like in front of me, but on the other side, cause they was going straight. He went towards their car. He went towards their car and tried to get in. He happened he ended up opening the door, but I could tell it was a female cause her hand was sticking out. She was trying to close her door back and was like telling them, no, no, you're not forgetting my car. I believe she had her kids and stuff in the car. With her. So she was like, no, so she ended up getting her door closed and locking it. When I tell y'all, I thank God. I believe God was on my side. Cause once that boy jumped out the car, he could have easily came my way cause I was right there. They could have easily came my way. I had all my windows down. I had a Ford Taurus, a 2005 Ford Taurus. And I had all my windows down. I was eight months pregnant, listening to my music, seeing the car skirt. Once I seen them jumping out and run over to that car trying to get in, I hurry up, hurry up, and rolled up my windows. And then the next thing I know, I looked up again, I see like five or six police cars <laughs> coming behind them. So once that first police car got older, in the meantime, once the first police car turned, the guy was still trying to, it was like, it's like a movie, y'all. The guy was trying to get in that person's car, and I and in that time while they were trying to get in the car, I was rolling up my windows. Next thing I know, one of the dudes started shooting police. Bang, 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 bang. I was like, oh my God, what is going on? I was by myself. I was so scared, I locked the doors. I bent down like this in the seat i was like oh my god oh my god so some type of way it was like three boys but one of them the one that was shooting he ran into some um tr some bushes it's like some bushes like a little tree part over there on that side he ran into that trying to run away hiding from him. next thing i know i see like five or six police just run up to the woods i mean oh my god when i tell y'all that was so traumatizing for me. I'm not going to lie. Let me see my food. I'm not going to lie, y'all. That was so traumatizing for me. And to this day, anytime I get to a light, anyway, I make sure my doors is locked. Because you never know what can happen. You never know. Like, all this stuff happened within a second. All this stuff. And I'm thanking God that 
he didn't allow them boys to see me sitting in that car by myself. They could have easily got me because I'm eight months pregnant, I'm big as hell. I'm in a big ass car by myself. It was enough room for all three of them to jump in my car. They could have forced me to drive and put the police on a high speed chase. But then again, I probably think the reason why they probably didn't come towards my car because I, I didn't have no way out. It was cars on this side, it was cars in front of me, cars behind me, cars on that side. So I was like blocked in. So even though when all this commotion going on, I was trying to f find a way to get out and drive off. I couldn't even do that because we was blocked in. We was at the traffic light. And everybody was probably scared like I was. Then nobody wanted to move. So when the cops ran behind him, unfortunately, they ended up killing that guy. And he was young. He was like around my age. I was 22 at the time. And he was young. And come to find out, I'm not gonna say his name in there, but come to find out, the one, the guy that they killed, his family, like, stayed in the, the uh, area I was staying. I was staying in the project then. I had my own place. You know what I'm saying? I had my own. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm lying. I was pregnant with eight, so I didn't have my own place then. I was still staying in my mom's house, but. What I did move after I had Asia, all his family was from around that area in the projects. And it was so sad. Like, I never talked about this. I never really told about it, but, you know, my mama and stuff. Like, what happened? And I seen the police basically kill him. You know? But it was very unfortunate. He did shoot first. It's a sad situation. He did shoot first at the police. They was on a high speed chase running from the police. Like his friends didn't shoot. He ended up shooting. He the one had the gun. And he got out shooting. And I couldn't go nowhere, y'all. All I could do at the time was duck in my car. Because bullets was coming from the police. And it's coming from them. Mind you, the boys is on this side trying to find a way out, trying to run. They on this side where the car's at. They done jumped out of their car and ran on this side. And the police is behind them to block their car in. All the police came out of nowhere. They came from everywhere. And they just started shooting. Like, they don't see other people here. You know what I'm saying? It's, and I see from that, it's very easy to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And the wrong person get killed behind somebody else careless. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else mess. Like... Ever since that, y'all, I do not, I made sure my car doors locked. And I, I had to sit back and think about that. I'm like, why do I lock my car doors every time I get to a light? I make sure my car doors is locked. Because of that. Because of that situation, what happened, that scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna even lie. I'm not gonna even lie. That was so scary. I was shaking. I was shaking and everything. And I couldn't wait till that light. The light had turned, but people in front of me, we couldn't really move. So the police blocked everybody in. It was, so many, it was like a million police. I know I'm more objective, but this is like a whole bunch of police came out of nowhere and just blocked the whole road. So we couldn't even move. I was like, Lord Jesus, I was praying. I just held down till them gunshots was over. I didn't want to get hit, hit with no stray bullet. I just ducked down. And I couldn't duck down that much because I'm like eight months pregnant. So I really couldn't duck down like that. But I got down the lowest I can. But this is a mess, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. You got to be careful out here. Because you never know what's really going on. But that's a real true story, y'all. It happened like 14 years ago. And I was pregnant with my daughter. And that shit was me. And ever since then, like Mercer Drive, I really don't ride down Mercer Drive. I will go all the way around. If you're from Orlando, I will go all the way around Princeton or uh, Powell's or something before I actually ride down Mercer Drive. I don't like riding down. Streets like that, And that's another thing I noticed. 
about myself. In the hood, I don't ride down the hood around a certain time. And I ain't trying to be bougie or nothing like that. But stuff like this happens a lot, especially here in Orlando in the hood. So I try to avoid the hood streets that I know that be really off the chain. I try to avoid them. You know, people say they want to say. But if you can avoid certain things that be happening in your life, avoid it. You know what I'm saying? Because I done seen some ish in the hood. I have. I was raised up in the hood. My mom always had a house. My mom had bought a house, but we did not know that neighborhood was so bad like that. And I done seen some ish. Okay. I done had a house. I've been surrounded by police and everything. I've been stuck that in the damn neighborhood for hours because the police done got shot in the head. Like, I done seen some stuff, y'all. I got some stories for y'all. Let me tell you. I got some stories. But, yeah. That's it, y'all. I just want to do a little story time. I hope y'all like this video. i show y'all one more time. Let's eat that. This chicken is the bomb. Let me tell y'all that right. This chicken is the bomb. But you know what, y'all? I thank God I'm in the position I am. So I don't have to have my kids in the hood, hood. You know what I'm saying? We ain't what I really want us to be right now, but they still, they not, they don't have to see all that mess that I seen going on. And I thank God that I'm able, you know, that we able to keep them out of that mess. Because I don't want them to see the stuff that I seen growing up. You know what I'm saying? So, it ain't about trying to act bougie or none of that. You just don't want to want to have your kids around certain environments. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather keep paying that expensive ass rent, rent that we pay. And make sure we're going to get us a house. But I'd rather keep it paying that rent and instead of putting my kids in harm's way. Mm. Alright. So, y'all. The girl for the go, so y'all already know so I can finish eating. And finish and watch me something on YouTube. I'll give y'all one more bite. One more bite of a chicken. Mm-hmm. Good y'all. About full. So anyway, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Comment down in the bottom. Let me know do y'all like story times? Cause I can do more. I got a lot of more to talk about. You know, some I'm probably gonna do certain story times. I can tell y'all some stories, okay? So come down to the bottom if y'all like these type of videos. And also we're doing vlogging too. But the days I have to work, I don't mind doing story times or eating chat. The ones when I have to work, but I'm gonna still be doing vlogging. I was actually vlogging yesterday, maybe to finish it though. But yeah, y'all coming down the bottom, give your girls a thumb up. But to next time, y'all already know what it is. To next time, bye.